How did you spend your bye week? Uh, definitely got away and uh, relaxed, got some rest. Uh, it was good to get my legs back under me and uh, just hung out with my family and uh, stayed here. Um, it was a solid bye week. Given your reputation, it would seem like you fit in some studying or no? You really did get away? Uh, for a couple of days, but at the same time, you have to continue to prepare and take advantage of those extra days, and I definitely did that as well. How has your approach kind of changed now that Kyle said that you're you're the start of the West Way, rest of the way, barring anything unforeseen? Yeah, uh, my mindset doesn't change. Uh, no matter what position I'm in uh, for the Niners, uh, nothing changes. My work ethic doesn't change, and uh, it's up to me to really just do everything that I've done to get here. And uh, so I just got to continue the same approach and uh, keep getting better every day. Does it take a little sense off of the, I don't need to go in and impress on every single down and every single series. I, I know I'm going to be here for the duration of the game. Uh, no, I don't think like that at all. I, I have to prove myself every single day, every, sing, every single rep and every single play, uh, just the way the league works. And uh, that's how I want to be. Uh, you know, I want to achieve. And uh, if you don't, I know what comes. Did you sell scout over the bike? What's up? Did you self-scout over the bye? Yeah, I think, um, I mean, I'm always self-scouting personally. I have a lot of things I need to work on, and uh, it's always running through your mind. Uh, it keeps me pretty angry most of the time, to be honest. I'm, I'm always on myself. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely some things I need to get better at uh, for this team to be better. Well, what are you pleased with what you've done so far? Uh, I like my decision-making for the most part so far, and uh, just got to, you know, stay the course. Uh, it's obviously a long journey, and uh, you got to take things one week at a time and uh, really just keep staying in the pocket, protecting the ball, and progressing. Uh, you know, that's where I'm most successful, so I just got to be the best at that. You've mentioned it before, the doing the thing, listening to the crowd noise and spitting out the play. This is your first road game. Have you already started doing that more this week, or will you do that as you go into the next couple weeks? Yeah, I mean, that definitely is a new challenge. Uh, I haven't played on the road yet, um, but I think this team is excited and, you know, we're ready. Uh, coming off the bye week, it's important that we start fast and, you know, really come out fast. You know, that's important. You know, Coach Shanahan talked about um, how do you respond to the bye week. And uh, so it gave us a good week to, you know, rest. But now we're excited to attack this first road game. And um, it's important for me that I just keep my same mindset. Um, it only matters what you do on the field. And don't let the environment impact the way you play. Can you lay out how you do? What, what is your process for, you know, with the, with the crowd noise and practicing? Speaking? Yeah, so uh, we obviously put a lot of hours in during the day, you know, learning the plays, walking through the plays, and then practicing the plays, obviously. Uh, but work doesn't stop um, here. You know, you go home, you study the plays, and uh, you really just have a very strict routine that I try to stick to, and it helps me prepare. And uh, that in does involve, you know, calling out the plays and envisioning the plays and seeing them in your head, and uh, that helps me be successful. What are your go-to uh, Apple Music uh, crowd noise <laughs> things that you that you find on there? Uh, I mean, if you just search it, it says crowd noise. There's, but there's not like one or two that you use on a regular uh, basis. I guess what, <laughs> stadium or whatever whatever sounds like a stadium, I guess. Does your wife know what you're doing when they're young? <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's just sitting there next to me, hanging out. <laughs> are you, you're yelling out the plays with with the uh, headphones uh, yeah I mean I wouldn't say I'm yelling but I mean I you know just do what you have to do to prepare and uh, what helps me you know put myself in the situation are you mad at George Kittle for exploding this it doesn't matter <laughs> <laughs> is there anything about George you'd like to put out there that other people don't know? <laughs> uh, you guys know as well as I do George is a character man uh, I'm sure y'all love him uh, but yeah he's a great teammate you know obviously has one heck of a personality that people gravitate to and he's been a great player for us and uh, yeah, I mean, George has been a weapon for us all year and it's, he works his butt off and everybody around the team knows that. And uh, so he's definitely a captain for a reason. You seem like you have a pretty quick chemistry with him on the field. Uh, just what, what, where does that kind of stem from? Uh, I think just, I mean, we might have not worked together for the whole time that I've been here in the two years, but you know, we've been around together for what, two years now. And I think our whole rookie class from last year has a great uh, chemistry. And, uh, you know, so I think just tributes to that. And obviously, it hasn't mattered what quarterback was in there. He's been making plays since day one. So um, you can credit him to that chemistry because it doesn't matter who's in there. He's going to catch it and step up and make plays. You have a lot of people coming to, coming to this game, your family and stuff? Uh, a handful, yes, sir. Uh, I've been lucky enough to have support at um, my starts. So, yeah, it's exciting to see them. Coming. Alabama, just because it's close. Yes, sir. Yeah. How many tickets did you have to buy? Um, uh, a handful. I think what? 
not terribly, but it's responsibility you got to <laughs> deal with during the week, too, I guess. Derek Cutter mentioned that uh, he's not surprised that either you or Matt Breeder are doing well this season. Do you remember talking to him before the draft? Um, I personally don't, but um, obviously Coach Monk and I played under him, so I'm sure they've had some discussions. Um, but honestly, I, I don't. But when you watch the Bucks defense on film, Nick, do you see, I mean, they only have one interception. So from a quarterback's point of view, do you see holes in that defense that you can exploit? Uh, you know, you really just have to relax and prepare. Uh, they have some good corners, so obviously. Grimes is a very experienced guy. He's very quick on his feet, and they have some good interior players. So um, definitely can't underestimate them. I am definitely in no position to underestimate them. And uh, but they're a great defense, you know. Um, yeah. Did you, uh, were you surprised given the connection with Coach Monken that I guess there wasn't much? I don't know if there was any contact before the draft. Did you think that might be a, a spot for you? Were you surprised when it wasn't? Uh, I don't know. I was just taking any opportunity that I could get, so I don't evaluate it too much. Nick, you see this this remaining part of the season as an important time to play your way into the team's thoughts looking ahead to next season as well? I mean, independent of Jimmy coming back healthy or whatever role might be available. Yeah, I mean, those thoughts, uh, they can't enter your head, and honestly, they don't matter. Uh, the only thing that matters right now is uh, this practice coming up. Um, if I do good at this practice, then I guess I'll leave a positive impression. So uh, that's really the only thing that matters at this time. All right, we really covered the headphones thing, but there was another George Kittle story, which almost sounds like it had to be made up, where after a game, you went back on the field and were going to the Yeah, that's, uh, you can take, ask Kittle about that one. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying that may not have happened? Uh, I guess not, no. <laughs> Thanks. Uh. Thanks.